जय हिंद एवरी वन आई एम श्रुति जैन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एम सी डिपार्टमेंट फ्रॉम अजय कुमार गर्ग इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज गाजियाबाद द टॉपिक दैट आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस इज बेसिकली अ केस स्टडी ऑन फेसबुक एंड इंस्टाग्राम दैट इज रिलेटेड टू हाउ द प्रेवेसी एंड सिक्योरिटी कैन बी मेंटेन ऑन फेसबुक एंड इंस्टाग्राम द दिस टॉपिक इज कवर्ड अंडर द सब्जेक्ट प्रेवेसी एंड सिक्योरिटी इन ऑनलाइन सोशल मीडिया एंड द सब्जेक्ट कोड इज के सी The target students are MCA fourth semester students who are studying in the second year. So coming to first of all, what Facebook is? As we have already discussed in the previous uh, presentations as well, uh, Facebook that is now nowadays known as Meta. It is one of the world's most widely used social media application, and it was launched in the year two thousand four. as a simple social network but slowly and slowly it be, it has taken over a very large marketing machine so facebook can be accessed from any of the device with active internet connection it could be pc tablet smartphone or uh, any of the device where through which we have an internet connection here the people can post pictures text multimedia which is then shared with other users the friends or if you have different privacy settings publicly now it is also used for marketing purpose where the people uh, can come together with different brands and market about their products and the users can uh, look about it get the feedback on those products and then they can go go in for purchasing those uh, things that the user wants to sell so facebook has become indispensable for the success of a brand in the digital space now coming to pros and cons pros it helps in keeping in, in touch with those people who are uh, with those people who are residing out of the country or uh, meeting with them is not possible on the regular basis we can also share the content with others uh, digitally uh, because we have a larger scope we have a lot of friends who are residing to different different places so sharing data is possible over there and we can keep a journal of all those things which uh, we have shared with different people so that whenever needed we can go through them the consequences there is no privacy and there is targeted advertising that means the uh, targeted users are taken up for advertising purpose which may be harmful for a particular user now what are the different privacy and security issues that uh, that are related to facebook the first one is data breach data breach uh, is when the user information is given to an unauthorized access it occur uh, one of the major data breach was uh, was there in the year 2018 when the attackers exploited the vulnerability potentially compromising the data of around 50 million users the third party data sharing uh, facebook has faced criticism for its data sharing practices with party developers in the past certain applications and quizzes on the platform collected and shared user data sometimes without explicit user consent leading to concerns about users privacy and misuse of personal information then there was a scandal that was a major scandal that happened in 2018 that was a cambridge analytica scandal uh, it was a consulting firm which obtained the personal da data of millions of facebook users without their consent and it was and this incident raised significant concerns about data privacy misuse of personal information for political purposes then we have targeted advertising and data collection where the facebook collects extensive user data to personalize the advertisements and generate targeted advertising campaigns this practice has raised privacy concerns as a user's personal information and online activities are utilized to deliver different different ads facial recognition technology it uses this technology to suggest tags in photos and enhance the user's experience however this has sparked privacy concerns as user facial data is stored and processed without explicit consent privacy settings complexity facebook's privacy settings have been criticized for being complex and confusing making it difficult for users to understand and control their privacy preferences effectively so this complexity can lead to unintentional sharing of personal information or users unknowingly exposing their data to wider audience than intended user tracking uh, facebook tracks user activities both on its platform and across the web using cookies and other tracking technologies which has raised a concern about user surveillance data tracking and potential invasion of their uh, of privacy 
had targeted discrimination these are targeting capabilities have been scrutinized for potentially enabling discriminatory practices as advertisers can target specific demographics potentially excluding or discriminating against certain groups psychological manipulations Concerns have been raised regarding Facebook's potential role in enabling the spread of misinformation, propaganda and the manipulation of public opinion through its algorithms and targeted content delivery. Account security and unauthorized access. Uh, these uh, Facebook accounts are occasionally subject to hacking attempts leading to unauthorized access, identity theft and potential misuse of personal information. So, to address these issues, Facebook has implemented various measures over time including stricter data policy, enhanced privacy settings, increased transparency and more ro robust features. So, uh, now we will see how to set up two step verification for Facebook with its privacy and security issues. So, first of all, you need to log in into your Facebook account using your credentials. Uh, if, we cl if you click on the downward facing arrow at the top right corner of the page, there you select the settings and privacy from the drop down menu and there you can click on the settings. In the left hand menu, you will select the security and login, scroll down to two factor authentication section and click on the edit button. So, when you click on the edit button, you will have the preferred authentication method which are multiple in options which include the authentication app which uses a compatible authentication app like Google Authenticator or Duo Mobile to generate verification codes. Text messages receive various verification codes through SMS on your mobile phone. Security key, it use a physical security key such as USB key or authenticate your login attempts. Approval, receive login approval notification through Facebook mobile app. So, these are the different authentication methods that one can use in order to uh, check whether your account is logged in through a valid user. So, the step 7 talks about to select the desired method and follow the on-screen instructions to complete the setup process. The steps may vary depending upon the chosen authentication method. Once set up, Facebook will prompt you to enter the verification code each time you log in from unrecognized device or browser. So, enabling two-step verification, it adds an extra layer of security to your Facebook account by requiring a second factor of authentication in addition to your password. This will help protect your account even if someone gains access to your password. But it is important to note that two-step verification alone does not address all the privacy and security concerns on Facebook. So, to further enhance the privacy and security, we need to consider the following tips. The first one is to use a strong unique password for your Facebook account and you need to change it periodically. Enable login alerts to receive notification about login attempts on your account. Regularly review your account's privacy settings and customize them according to your preferences. Be cautious about the personal information you share on Facebook and adjust your sharing settings accordingly. Enable the features like profile review to review and approve tags before they appear on your profile. Stay vigilant against the phishing attempts and suspicious messages or links. Keep your devices and browsers up to date with the latest security patches and use trusted antivirus softwares. The next, be mindful of the apps and the websites that you are connecting with your uh, Facebook account and review their permissions and privacy policy. Regularly review and manage the apps and the services that have access to your Facebook account in the apps and the website uh, settings. Educate yourself about Facebook privacy and security features and stay updated on their policies and practices as they keep on changing from time to time to enable a uh, more secured uh, application. So, by implementing two-step verification and following the best practices for privacy and security on Facebook, one can significantly reduce the risk of unauthorized access to your account and protect your personal information. Now, talking about the next uh, well-known application that is Instagram, which is also known as Insta. It is a photo sharing platform that has become a multi-level communication platform through which brands and people interact with each other. So, today one can share pictures, stories and reels on Instagram. It, uh, it was founded in 2010 by Kevin Strystrom and Mike Greger and uh, uh, it was later acquired by Facebook also known as Meta Platforms. So, as an Instagram user, you can upload pictures, short videos, follow others, feeds and geotag images with location names. So, it is widespread uh, 
especially among the influencers who use the app to make a living racking up thousands of followers influencers leverage them to do work for brands so influencers started from instagram and other apps followed later on some of the uh, advantages it has a great visuals which uh, attract a large number of people to follow it has effective promotion because we have very short reels which can be promoted to anyone appealing interface the interface is very easy user friendly and it's very attractive it is great for travelers because travelers can geotag their images with location names so it increases the popularity of those places uh, with those pictures consequences it uh, it offers overwhelming advertisement which may be uh, uh, a thing that a user don't like it has very few features a fair share of technical drawbacks it does not have a reach that of facebook and there could be an issue of image theft where the image is mocked together and it can be used for unauthorized purposes some of the privacy and security issues account hacks and unauthorized access where the uh, insta accounts have been targeted by hackers leading to unauthorized access to user accounts these hackers may gain control of the accounts change the passwords and use them for fraud activities the next one is privacy settings which have been a subject of criticism because the users have expressed concern about the complexity and limitations of the settings making it challenging to control the visibility of their content and the personal information data privacy and sharing instagram collects user data including profile information post location data interaction for targeted advertising and analytics direct messages and privacy the privacy of instagram uh, direct messaging feature has been a concern while instagram states that dms are private they uh, there have been instances where screenshots and unauthorized access to these direct messages have compromised users privacy privacy of user stories the instagram stories which are short lived posts that disappears after 24 hours have raised privacy concerns because the users may not be aware that their stories can be captured and shared by others content moderation and harassment it has faced challenges in effectively moderating and addressing abusive or inappropriate content instances of harassment hate speech and bullying have raised concern about user safety and effectiveness of content moderation policies fake accounts and impersonation instagram has struggled with proliferation of fake accounts and impersonation these accounts can be used for various malicious activities including spreading invasive information scamming users and conducting identity theft third party applications and data security instagram integration with third party applications and services has raised has raised privacy and security concerns users may unknowingly grant access to their instagram accounts exposing their data to potential vulnerability or misuse by third party uh, applications geolocation privacy instagram allows the users to tag their posts with geolocation information however this can be inadvertently reveal a user's location potentially compromising their privacy or personal safety parental control and child safety they have faced scrutiny regarding the protection of young users and implementation of adequate parental control there have been concerns about inappropriate content online grooming and ease of interaction So to address these issues Instagram had made efforts to improve the privacy settings enhance content moderation practices and provide user education on privacy and security features Now again how to set up two step verification on Instagram with its privacy and security concerns so first thing is to open the Instagram launch the app on your mobile device go to your profile in the bottom right corner the access settings can be taken up the by tapping the three horizontal lines in the top right corner where the settings option can be selected tap the security from the list of options and under the security section tap the two factor authentication get started if you haven't set up any of the two factor authentication before once that is done choose a security method whether you want it through authentication app where the Instagram recommends using the authentication app like Google Authenticator or Duo Mobile. Follow the prompts to link the app. Text messages you can opt to receive a verification code via SMS where you have to enter your mobile number if prompted and follow the instructions. Once uh, the authentication uh, the security method has been chosen the setup is completed by entering the verification code sent to your phone or generated by any of the authentication app to complete the setup. 
Instagram provide backup codes that you can use if you can't access your primary two-factor authentication method. So you need to store these account, uh, these codes in a secure location. Now, some of the uh, privacy and security issues, benefits, it enhances the security, two-factor authentication adds an extra layer of protection, making it harder for unauthorized users to access your account even if they have your passwords. The protection against phishing, it reduces the risk of phishing attacks since the attackers would also need the second verification step to gain the access. Some of the potential issues comes up with phone number vulnerability. If you use the SMS for two-factor authentication, then your phone number becomes a critical security factor. It could be vulnerable to swim swapping attacks where the attackers take control of your phone numbers. Then you have the app dependency. If you use the authentication app, losing access to your mobile device can lock you out of your account unless you have the backup codes. Backup code security, storing backup code securely is crucial. If these codes are accessed by someone else, then they can bypass your two-factor authentication. Privacy concerns, sharing your phone numbers with Instagram for SMS-based two-factor authentication can raise privacy concerns again as it adds to personal data the platform holds about you. So what are the different recommendations for that? Use authentication apps, prefer authentication apps over SMS for enhanced security. Secure backup codes, keep backup codes safe in a secure inaccessible place. Regular updates, regularly update your contact information and authentication app settings to ensure you don't lose them. And stay vigilant, vigilant about the phishing attempts and suspicious activities on your accounts. So by enabling two-factor verification and being aware of potential privacy and security issues, you can significantly enhance the security of your Instagram account. That's all for today. Thank you.